Hello friends, this is Nageshwar. Welcome to my channel ITPod143. In this tutorial, I will show how to install Red Hat Enterprises Linux 6.4 on VirtualBox. Red Hat Enterprises Linux is a popular Linux based operating system. Here, I am using VirtualBox. So, before the installation, we need to create a virtual machine. Okay, uh, Red, Hat Red Hat is a Linux type operating system and I am using 32-bit ISO image file. Okay, next. And I am increasing memory size to speed up my installation. Okay, now in this tutorial, I'm using a ISO image file. So please come to settings and in system, uh, please deselect floppy and please select PS2 mouse as a pointing device. And after that, please come to storage and here remove IDE. And here we need to add our ISO image file. Okay and you can download this image file from the link showing in my description and after that just click on ok now let's start the installation process okay here just we need to select installer upgrade and existing system okay and after selecting that just enter and here uh, if you want to test your media, just select OK. Otherwise, uh, skip the media test. So, for that, uh, use arrow keys to select skip and just start the installation. Okay, just click on next. And here it is showing the language details. Uh, select your language. Default it is English. Okay, next. And here we, we need to select appropriate keyboard. So default it is giving US English. I'm selecting that only. Just click on next. Here it is showing type of the devices will your installation involve so if you want you can select any of these two options uh, here i'm using a basic storage device if you want to install or upgrade to enterprise device such as storage area networks please select specialized storage device okay and after that just click click on next Okay, here just uh, discard any data. So please select yes. And now it is showing the uh, host name. So if you want, you can type any host name here. And after that, please come to next. And here we need to select our time zone. So I'm from Kolkata, so I'm selecting that. And after that, just click on next. And here we need to enter a password for our root user. Okay. And just confirm it by giving same password. And after that, please come to next. And 
you have provided a weak password so uh, use anyway and here it is showing the type of installation would you like and uh, every installation has its unique features if you select the user all the space it will remove all the partitions on your hard drive including other operating system partitions also and if you select this replace existing license uh, Linux system and it will remove your existing Linux Linux partition only and not remove the partitions on your hard disk drive and if you select this it will shrink the uh, existing partition to create free space for the default layout and uh, you can use free space uh, okay and here I'm using a custom layout because I want to manually create my partitions okay select that and after that just click on next now it is showing my hard disk space so I want to create partition so select that and come to create and here please select standard partition and click on create now uh, first we need to provide swap okay just select swap memory uh, okay and here just give it size 1024 okay uh, normally uh, this depends on your RAM capacity swap must be double to your RAM okay 024 and after that just click on OK and now come to free again free space and again select create now I want to create a boot partition and 200 MB uh, that is enough for my boot partition okay after that just click on okay and come to free and create and select standard partition create okay here I want to choose my root partition okay and here I want to give its size so remaining all the volume I, I want to allocate to this root partition okay and after that just click on OK and just click on next okay it will format no problem select format and please select write changes to disk okay here uh, now it will install the bootloader okay uh, if your system has one more operating system it will indicate here uh, then you select Red Hat Enterprises and after that just click on next okay now it is showing the uh, basic server database server web server or desktop so here better to select desktop uh, if you select the server it will uh, show graphic interface uh, sorry it will not show graphic interface uh, it will execute in command line interface so for that we need to be a advanced user okay that's why I'm selecting desktop and after that please select any additional repositories and please select Red Hat Enterprise Linux and select next Now it is starting the installation process. Okay, now it will copy all the packages into our system so this process may take 15 to 20 minutes to finish the installation so I will skip this part
welcome back Okay, uh, congratulations, your Red Hat Enterprise Linux installation is complete. Okay, now we need to reboot our system. Okay, just reboot it. Okay, uh, after restart, we need to go through a few more steps to use our system. So, here just select forward. Okay, uh, please accept the license term. If you want to read it, you can read it. And after that, please select uh, license agreement and click on forward. Okay, here it is showing setup software updates and if you want to take updates from your computer uh, internet, you can connect to the network connection and update your software. Okay, and after that just click on forward and here we need to give our username. Okay, uh, type your full name and password. and confirm the same password okay after that just click on forward okay now it is showing the chosen password is too weak or do you want to use it anyway yes please select it okay here we need to modify our date and time and after modify your date and time just please click on forward okay just ignore this warning click on ok now it is showing the k dump normally k dump is a uh, kernel crash dumping mechanism okay just uh, click on finish and here just uh, select other for using root user login credentials okay just enter that and here uh, type your username uh, okay I'm, I'm using uh, root user and just enter that and now we need to type password so enter the password that we created during the installation okay just click on login Okay, just close this. Okay, you can find different icons from our software. Okay. And with this, we have successfully completed our Red Hat Linux operating system on VirtualBox. 
and I hope this video will help you in installing uh, Red Hat into your personal system and thank you friends for watching my video if you like this video please click on like button and share this video with your friends and Uh, please visit my channel itbot143 to watch more latest uploaded videos and please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Okay, thank you viewers. Have a nice day